So we're here today at a show in Northern Ireland and behind me here we have a range of GFX screens on display. So we'll start here with our GFX 350. So this screen has a seven inch display. Both, all three screens, they're all working off Precision IQ software. So they're all very similar to use and have very similar capabilities. So this will be our entry level screen, our GFX 350. Focus mainly at manual guidance, but you have the option of adding your EasyPilot Pro assisted steering afterwards. Moving on next, we have our GFX 1060. So this is a new display only released in the last couple of weeks, and it's a replacement of its predecessor, the GFX 750. So this display, you're coming up from your 7-inch display up to your 10.1-inch. Again, this is working off Precision IQ software. Um, you can go down the route of auto steer at this and your section control via ISPUS RTUVR. Moving on then, we have our GFX 1260 display. So this is a 12-inch screen, again working off the same software, and this system would be focused mainly at auto steer. Um, I suppose all three displays then, they're, they're, I suppose all three displays then, they work off the same set of power cables and the same antenna cables. So if you had more than one display within the fleet, they are interchangeable and very easily done. Um, all three displays then can either be linked with our two receivers, the NAV 500 or the NAV 900. So our NAV 500, this receiver would be focused mainly at manual guidance systems. It comes on free satellites, which is working off SPAS, which is 8 inch accuracy. So again, this is really for your manual guidance. If you are thinking of going down the route of auto steer, you would be going towards the NAV 900. So the NAV 900 receiver, again, this comes on SPAS, which is 8 inch accuracy, but can be upgraded to either range point or upgraded to center point or full RTK. So these are the two receivers we have. So just if we look at the display here, so when we power on the display, we have our app store where we can download different apps. We have our universal terminal where we can download or where we can operate our ISPUS implement through. So if we click into Precision IQ, this brings us into our home screen. So as you can see here, we're on, this system is currently on Centerpoint VRS. Our vehicle profile is saved here, so if we're swapping this screen between tractors, we can save our different tractor profiles here, and all the measurements for the tractors are shown on this side. The same with our implements, we can save our different implements here, so you only have to input the measurements of your implement once, and it's saved on the system then. So it makes it very simple if you're swapping applications, if you're, if you're swapping from the lights of a fertilizer spreader to a sprayer, or so on, very simply, you just click on what implement is on the tractor here. Over here then, we save our fields. So under our tab here, we'll be saving all our different fields. So the first time you go into a field, you'll record the boundary. The field is saved on the system then for any time you're going to that field afterwards. You click on what field you're going to. And it will also sort fields by distance. When you're creating a field, you click on new, we can call the field name, whatever field, whatever name we want to call it. So if you have paddock numbers or paddock names, you can type that in here. We can also save it under client and farm. So if you are doing contract work, that you want to save each of your customer's fields under his name, or if you have different farms, they can be saved here also. Back here on the home screen, we can go down the route of variable rate and section control and we can record what material we're spreading or spraying out in the field. And all this information then is recorded under our task history, which is over here. So each time we create, or each time we go into a field, we create a new task, and all the information is stored here and it can be linked back to our desktop via different software packages Trimble have on offer. Um, you'll see just a couple of snippets here on the task history so we're able to see what productive area and coverage area we have done, how long we were in the field, start time and finish time. So again this makes it very easy if you're contracting or doing work for other people that you, you have what areas you've worked on and you have your times also saved here. So if we just go into the run screen here this is the working screen that 
you're going to be working with out in the field. So here now we have guidance lines created. On the left hand side here, you have options to create new guidance lines, which include either a basic AB line or curved lines, or your headline function. You can mark feature points and exclusion zones. You have your nudge function in if you want to nudge guidance lines and so on. Over on this side, we have our field overview tab and guidance patterns if you want to save different guidance patterns. We have our diagnostic tab and we have our universal terminal so we can connect our ISPOS implement up to this and use this as the terminal to control that implement. So I can just show you here if we start driving and steer onto the guidance lane. We can engage our steering up here. So when our steering is engaged, this is the button to engage our steering. We can also fit a remote engage switch inside the tractor. Or if your tractor is guidance ready and you don't need the electric steering wheel, it's done through a button which is already in the tractor. This is our paint function. So it colors the area behind the tractor as you're traveling which again makes it easier so you know what area is worked on in the field. And this is our speed and our light bar, which is guiding you onto the AB line. So other items we have on display here, we have our slurry flow meter. So this slurry flow meter will record the rate of slurry you're putting out in the field. You can set your target rate and it'll give you a recommended speed. So with our slurry flow meters, you can go down the route of a Bluetooth flow meter, which is linked to a tablet inside the tractor, or we can go down the Isobus route, so we can control that flow meter on our Trimble screen. So if you have any other questions, get in touch.